this morning and yeah vlogmas first of all <laughs> disclaimer i'm not one of them youtubers where it's like vlogmas but for hashtag purposes yes this is day one of vlogmas on scorpio chronicles okay it's a winter holiday up in this bitch so <laughs> i am about to just god help me because rush hour i don't got time but you know all things work out for me energy is energy and it all works for me you know i'm excited and we just gonna see how shit goes i already checked in and yeah i'll keep you posted once i arrive at the airport and of course there's motherfucking traffic welcome to new york bitch the fuck to my job for the hoodie and the mask wait gate b33 is to the left um what i can say is that the airport is live in full effect my last adventure time is when i went to atlanta at the start of corona so how fitting is it that I, well not even to see the end because who the fuck knows when the end really is to be honest but yeah we are out here there was no problems getting through TSA, except for this one little Arab people who was trying to cut me off, and I had to let them know, like, I am a melanin queen. Do you not see me? How you gonna miss this unicorn? Delpha. What the fuck did you just say? Look at this shit. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Okay. Construction or cover up. And then they have this one. Then they got this. Wait. Are we creating the world's greatest airport or preparing for the end of the world? Now, y'all fucking tell me why the airport would have this shit. A portal to the underworld or a gateway to improve? My nigga, stop playing with me. Like, what? One train and I found my shuttle bus. And um, it's gonna take me right to my little renty. And yeah, those little signs in the airport. That's why I be saying how they be hiding truth in plain sight right in front of your face, but you don't have on your spiritual lenses and your spiritual eyes. How the hell are you supposed to know what the fuck they're really telling you? Y'all, let's fucking go. Let's go. Let me just take out the window real quick because it's dead ass fucking snowing. It's dead ass snowing. The hills are alive with the sound of music. Y'all ain't know I could sing, could you? But uh, yeah, look at outside. It's a fucking winter wonderland for real. Anyways, I'm about to. Head out, head out, head out. This fucking lighting? Talk to me nice. Okay, cause period. All right, bye. I had to stop at Handy Dandy 
um starbucks unintentionally unbeknownst to me i was trying to go to they have this spot called waku's fish tail i think but um denver is mad interesting because you will pull up in one driveway thinking you're getting one thing and then you're a hole in starbucks I'm trying to drive to rocky mountain but i think it's closed but i think i'm gonna just drive out there anyways because why the fuck not i'm in a whole new place let's go explore sightsee even if i'm just seeing country land so mm, i'm going to just fix my little oatmeal real fast and i pulled over to make sure bruh this ain't got no sugar in here <sighs> yo <laughs> y'all see this shit yo oh they so i don't know if all starbucks does this but i've never gotten oatmeal from starbucks they throw your little blueberries in this little plastic thingy that's so cute y'all know me already like little things excite me in life for real for real i should have asked for more sugar for my oatmeal because i know everything about to be bland 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 is it fresh or mm. I don't know if this is GMO blueberries, but these shits is fire. It's so good. Wow. Something I did not know I needed. Something that was so cool yesterday. So usually I don't fall asleep on my flight for whatever odd reason but yesterday i fell asleep on the flight and i was probably sleeping on and off for like an hour and a half my flight was like four hours long didn't know that when i booked it of course but whatever when i did wake up i looked out the window and y'all when i say i looked out the window and it looked like i was floating in outer space like wherever the plane was at there was no form of civilization underneath us either that or we were so fucking high up in the clouds i think that's what it is we were at a super high altitude because it was already snowing over here when we pulled up and y'all when i said i opened those blinds and i felt like i was in outer space i have never seen orion's belt so close to my face like i could just kiss it through the window i've never seen stars shine so bright other than when i went to virginia a few years ago and where i was staying at in virginia like the stars could literally kiss your fucking forehead and i was just like in awe imagine waking up you're already on a long flight you open your blinds you look out your window and it's like you're fucking floating in outer space i think that has been the highlight of my trip so far i think that was the most beautiful thing i've ever seen and i'm so grateful to god for that experience like this is what they mean by an attitude of gratitude that means you find any little and big thing to be grateful for and the universe knows how strongly i wanted to come to colorado and even more so how strongly i needed to get the fuck out of new york i just needed that break so now that i'm over my little phobia of flying not because like covid i just thought niggas was forcing you to get tested at the airport and i'm not jacking that shit um shout out to crystal clear universe um, the day before I left, he DM'd me a video of this doctor. It was like a Israel podcast conversation or whatever, like a Zoom call with a doctor. And she was saying how, you know, anyone who's been tested for COVID-19, sticking that shit up your nose, basically the government has a little nano atomic chip at the end of the swab. So they're sticking that shit up your nose. It's breaking past cavity barriers and they're able to deposit shit into your brain, bro. So this is what I'm saying, like awareness, your awareness, you have to be discerning. You have to know what you are up against. Because I already know what I'm up against, I move a certain way because I'm not getting tested. They got me fucked up, okay, period. But on a more <laughs> happier note, um, this really, for me, was just, uh, I feel like a soul reset, a soul retreat. My soul really just needed to be in a new environment and be free and just, you know, clear my energy. So this trip is really just all about me and just chilling and spending quality time with myself. I've been working so fucking hard at work. I've been working so hard in my spiritual work. I've been working so hard with my shadow work this entire year. And 2019 was crazy as fuck for me. So it's like, for my whole entire life, 
2019, I went through my dark night of the soul. 2020, I really started healing and transforming and shedding away certain things and just working on myself in all areas. And I, I yo, I made it. We made it, y'all. We fucking made it to the end of 2020. Um, I know that a lot of drastic changes are approaching 2021, but I'm just here to make the best of my life experience. I'm here to live my life to the fullest. I've spent the first... 20 years of my life just being afraid listening to what everybody else wanted me to do not having a backbone not really speaking up for myself when i needed to and now i'm just ready to embrace everything that god wants me to be everything that god created me to be and i i'm so grateful and appreciative i'm so happy to be here it's snowing this is different like i usually i would never go I would never travel to the Midwest, ever. Like, I would just have no desire. But from summertime, I've just been fiending to come to Colorado. I don't know what it is. So I'm just excited for what Spirit has in store for me today. And um, yeah, y'all. Mm. Th this should be fun. Bye. <laughs> I'm out here in the mountains. Why well, I don't have my jacket on, I literally had to hop out the car because y'all, y'all, first of all, First of all, when I say I'm in the fucking clouds, bro, I can't make this shit. This is the beautiful thing I've ever seen. Definitely gonna have to put on my jeans right now because I don't know who I think I am, but y'all look at this view. You've never seen this type of view anywhere. When I say excited is an understatement, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to go put on like snowshoes. So let me go put on my stuff. <laughs> i 
sitting in my room, but I know outside there's sunshine. Oh, oh baby, you're my sunshine. Oh. So why did they catch it cold? Oh. It took me like I never fall in love, make me feel like the first time, yeah. A dangerous love affair. I'm gambling on my heart. My heart. I fit the love you die. Go come tire for me, making no go turn yawa for me. I fit the love you tire. Are you really the one? No go come tire for me, making no go turn yawa for me. Yeah, yeah. Peace.